Hello again, everybody. Pastor Brian here coming to you with another promise and encouragement from God's Word. Today we're going to look at a few scriptures from the book of James, uh, one of the great books of the New Testament. Uh, and he begins in chapter 3, beginning in verse 13, where he says, Do you want to be counted wise? Well, who wouldn't want to be that? I mean, nobody said, asked to raise their hand and say, hey, you want to be dumb? And people don't raise their hands for that. We want to be thought of as wise, right? If you want to be counted as wise and to build a reputation for wisdom, then Paul uh, or James lays out some ideas here for us in regards to that. He says, here's what you do. First of all, live well. And then live wisely, of course, but then live humbly. Boy, that's something that we could really embrace in our culture today, isn't it? To live humbly. It's the way you live, not the way you talk. That counts. Mean-spirited ambition, that's not wisdom. Boasting that you are wise, well, that's not wisdom. Even twisting the truth to make yourself sound wise isn't even wisdom, he goes on to say. It's the furthest thing from wisdom. In fact, then he correlates it to this. He says, it's like animal cunning or it's devilish conniving. And he goes on to say, whenever you're trying to look better than others or get the better of others, things fall apart and everyone ends up at each other's throats. Boy, that's a description of our culture today. I mean, we're coming down the home stretch before the election. I mean, it's incredible the things that people say about each other. Uh, I, I've even heard people say, well, they're leftists, or they're on the right, or they're Democrats, or they're Republicans, or they're this, they're that. And everybody's being divided up into all sorts of boxes. But God says this to us. Real wisdom, God's wisdom, begins with a holy life. So one of the things you and I need to do is say, Lord, see if there be any wicked way in me. Not in the other people I'm looking at, but in me. Purify my heart, Lord. See if there be any wicked way in me. So it begins there. It begins there. Real wisdom begins with a holy life. And it is characterized by getting along with others. That's what a holy life is characterized by. Getting along with others. It's also a gentle and reasonable overflowing with mercy and blessings overflowing with mercy. not just god being merciful but us being merciful that we would be overflowing with mercy and blessings not hot one day and cold the next not two-faced you can develop a healthy listen to this you can develop a healthy robust community that lives right with god and enjoy its results only if you do the hard work of getting along with each other. I mean, it is hard work getting along with each other. It's difficult at times to get along with each other. But he goes on to say, treating each other with dignity and honor. When we again go back to what I've been saying for quite some time now, when we realize that everybody is created in the image of God and in the likeness of our Creator, our Father in Heaven, then we will have a greater understanding of why we need to treat each other, whether we believe what they believe, whether we agree with how they're living, any of these kind of things, that they deserve to be treated with dignity and honor. And so today, let's make a commitment to be wise. But how are we wise? We're wise by getting along with each other. We're wise by treating each other with dignity, by treating each other with value. And when we do this, we will see even a greater connection in our community of faith. We will see a greater move of God in our community of faith. When we do what 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, Again, Lord, see if there be any wicked way in me. That should be our prayer today. Let's focus on how God can change our hearts, our lives, and we will see such an incredible boost of God's presence and energy in our community of faith. God bless you today. Hopefully you'll be encouraged. Seek wisdom, but the way we seek wisdom is to do it God's way. Have a great day. Bye-bye.